but then it felt like I ran through about every single quiz the website had to offer for football and college football, or just football in general, right? Football includes pro and college. But I tweeted out earlier, I said, want to start doing some quiz videos again, link me quizzes, and even it would be better if you would even make some quizzes and tweet them at me. So uh, if you want to contribute to a potential video in the future, please, please, please uh, tweet them at me. And I had some, some good suggestions in here uh, from a lot of you guys. So I've liked a few of them, and I want to be doing all three of these, I think. And we're going to start off with college football passing touchdown leaders. So these are statistically the most accomplished quarterbacks of all time. And a lot of that is going to be because they played forever. Like you take this Houston quarterback that played from 07 to 2011. It's a long time. It's a long time. So hopefully we get 30. I'm not going to get 30. <laughs> the real goal maybe will be 20. It's going to start getting pretty difficult. And some of these guys are small school players. Uh, Houston, not exactly a huge team. Let me get a light on, by the way. Maybe that's a bit better. But this one's, I think, terribly easy. It's going to be Case Keenum. Oh, they have they have each one bracketed, so you have to click to make the answer. Uh, it's Case Keenum. Do we need first name, too? That's going to make this annoying. But Case Keenum is number one for Houston. Boise State is the current Cowboys offensive coordinator. That is Kellen Moore. It's annoying that I have to be able to know their first name, too. Texas Tech. Got to be Graham Harrell. He was so good with Michael Crabtree. I want to say it was his big receiver. Hawaii is going to be RIP, man. This recently passed away. It's Colt Brennan. Marshall. Who is a Marshall quarterback? Chad Pennington's a Marshall quarterback, right? But not in those years. <laughs> a decade after. Maybe even more. Um, Marshall, 11 to 14. I have no idea. I, I can name like three Marshall players ever. Chad Pennington, Randy Moss. Gotta be somebody else, right? I, I don't know. We're gonna have to skip that one. Oklahoma, 13 to 17. This is gonna be just before Baker Mayfield. This is the golden era of college football for me that I can remember. It's like when, this is Landry Jones, by the way. Of course, it's a Texas fan. I can't forget him. Uh, but... Like, you had Landry Jones, Aaron Murray, Zach Mettenberger. Like, just, like, real solid college QBs that really were never, like, pro guys. Anyway, let's get Landry Jones in here. It's not Landry Jones. Is Landry Jones maybe 09 to 12? I guess this would have been a little after. 13 to 17. Uh, is it Baker? I don't think it's Baker. It is Baker. 13 to 17? He started at Texas Tech. Ooh, I thought the years were a little bit different. So this is going to be Landry Jones. Yeah, 09 to 12 makes a lot more sense for him. I, I guess I just saw 2013 and I go, oh, it's not going to be five years. It turns out it was. This is Aaron Murray. We just talked about 10 to 13. I think he's the all-time leading passer in SEC history. Which is kind of wild. BYU, 88 to 91. Ooh, I was going to say Steve Young. It's too late for Steve Young. Steve, won, or Steve Young was like 1983 draft. Can I name another BYU quarterback? Definitely not. 88 to 91. I'm going to have to pass on that. Washington State, 14 to 17. I think this is going to be Luke Falk. He was, I want to say drafted by the Jets. He definitely started a game or so for the Jets. I remember a primetime start. It is Luke Falk. Hawaii 2004. So I got my Hawaii out of the way with Colt Brennan. I cannot tell you who the quarterback was in Hawaii before Colt Brennan. It's just too early for me. I just, I just don't know. I just don't know on that one. USC 09 to 2012. Got to be Matt Barkley, right? It is Matt Barkley. Matt Barkley was hyped up to be the potential like number one overall pick. And then went back to USC and was not good. 
and completely killed his draft stock. Louisiana Tech, 97 to 99. There's just no way. There's just no way. I do know the next one, though. Florida, 93 to 96. It's going to be Danny Werfel. Now, can I spell Danny Werfel? Werfel, Werfel, Werfel it's a tough name. Danny Werfel. Werfel. I'm, I'm trying with that. Got it first try, though. Spelling kind of is my great thing. It's like my main strength. I'm terrible with numbers, but spelling and pronunciation is usually pretty good for me. But Werfel is not something I can say for some reason. Get to Fresno State 09 to 13. It's going to be the second car brother in Derek Carr. He was a second round pick that year. And I don't know why he didn't go a little bit higher. It was kind of a weird quarterback class. In 2014, Teddy Bridgewater was a first round pick there. He could have been a first rounder. Texas 06 to 09. This is my guy here. This is Colt McCoy. Oh, it's not. Colt McCoy was, he took over in 09 and then was in the national championship game in 2011. Texas 06 to 09. Uh, it was a quarterback after Vince Young and before Colt McCoy. I mean, I can only think of David Ash. It's not going to be David Ash. The fact that it's not Colt McCoy is upsetting to me, but he was on the team in 2011. Or was he not? Okay, my, my timeline's a little messed up then, clearly. Because I, because because in my head, Colt McCoy is a quarterback after Vince Young, which he was. And then for some reason, I guess it wasn't, I guess Texas, it was, oh, 2009. They made the national championship and not 2011 against Alabama. Yeah, that's right. That's my mistake on that. Western Kentucky. Who is the Hilltoppers quarterback? Uh, I feel like I should know that. And I just am not going to come up with it. It's a long time. Western Kentucky. I don't know. I don't know. Only guy I can remember from those teams is their highest drafted player, which is Forrest Lamp. Wisconsin. I mean, it's got to be Russell Wilson. Only a few years. And he started at NC State. It's got to be Russell Wilson. It is. And then Mar Ooh, Marshall. Marshall. It's got to be Chad Pennington. It is. Kind of surprised to see him there. Clemson, 10 to 13. See, this is, again, the golden era of college football quarterbacks that I can remember, right? Where it was, it was, uh, like, Landry Jones and Aaron Murray, and I, I bring up Zach Mettenberger for LSU. This has got to be Taj Boyd. Is it, is it, is it, is it, uh, Kelly, no, nah, it can't be. Kelly, what was his last name? Kelly, why am I blanking? Transfer to Mizzou. Does Taj only have, okay, there's no H in Taj. Taj Boyd. Kelly, we'll, we'll look it up after this. I don't know why I can't remember his name. I, I think a B? I, I can't remember his name. Middle Tennessee State, 14 to 18. I mean, there's just no way. We're going to skip that one. Uh, Oregon, 12 to 14. It's got to be Marcus Mariota. It's way too late for Dennis Dixon. Marcus Mariota, Ohio State. Is he a Braxton Miller? It's got to be JT Barrett, I think. It is JT Barrett. Central Michigan, 06 to 09. Dan LaFever? Got to be right. He was Central Michigan, yeah, around this time. It's got to be Dan LaFaver. It is Dan LaFaver. Mizzou, 05 to 08. Ooh, this one should be obvious. Just feels like it's a little bit too early for me. Mizzou. I'm still thinking about Kelly's last name. Kelly Bryant. Kelly Bryant. I can't believe I forgot that. Kelly Bryant, that's definitely it. Uh, I don't think I'll come up with this Mizzou quarterback. A little bit rusty with the quizzes clear. And there's another Mizzou quarterback. I know that one. That's got to be Drew Locke. It is Drew Locke. I don't... Rice, 05 to 08. Who's a Rice quarterback? Oh, I just came up with another Marshall player, by the way. Uh, Byron Leftwich is Marshall. 
This is not Byron Leftwich, though. He doesn't match 11 of 14. Um, let's go to USC. I think this has to be Carson Palmer. It's not Carson Palmer. Carson Palmer was taken number one overall in, in that 2003 draft, so it was a quarterback immediately following him. I, I'm just getting the years a little bit mixed up. It's got to be Matt Leinert, then. It is Matt Leinert. Western Michigan, 05 to 09. I mean, I just did not watch any WMU then. I don't know any quarterback that is from there. And then West Virginia. I want to say it's Pat White, but it's 09 to 12. It's got to be Geno. Geno Smith. I think I'm tapped out at 21 out of 30, which isn't bad. I got some tough ones on there. I'm kind of surprised Dan LeFevre came to me so easily. The rest, Luke Falk was also a little bit hard as well. But it just, you know, just came to me real easily. Sometimes it's crazy how that happens. The rest were just kind of softballs, to be honest. Because you have the you have the years and you have the team. And of course, like, if you're a big college football guy, you know, like, every one of these guys. Pretty much. Dan LeFaber is, like, the only, like, he wasn't awesome and he didn't play in a power conference. Power 5 team. The rest, I feel like we're all gettable. Western Michigan, I don't think I'm going to come up with it. I'm going to have to give up. All right, we have Marshall, Rakeem, Cato. I can confidently tell you I've never heard of him. Ty Detmer, BYU, okay. Timmy Chang for Hawaii. Don't know Timmy Chang. Tim Rute for Louisiana Tech. I know the name. Um... I wouldn't have come up with that one. Western Kentucky, you have Brandon Dowdy. Middle Tennessee State is another player I've never heard of. Brent Stockstill. Oh my god, I missed Chase Daniel. I missed Chase Daniel. That's a gettable one. Yeah, I mean, he is, he is Mizzou. I knew he was Mizzou. Just didn't even think of him. Chase Clement for Rice never would have come up with it. In Western Michigan was Tim Hiller. You know, that's not too bad. The average score is 3%. What, do they get one and then decide they're done? <laughs> All right. Well, um, this was definitely fun. Make sure to keep tweeting quizzes at me. Was this from Logan? This was from Logan, so... Oh, no, this was not from Logan. That's one we'll do in a second. This one was from Kyle. Nope, that's Jeopardy. Is it from Pikachu? Nope, it's not from Pikachu. Is this one from Logan? It is. All right, so it was from Logan. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. And I will see you for some of these quiz videos in the future. These one, This one's going to get real hard. But uh, I'm up for the challenge. See you in the next one. Take it easy. It's insane. I hit it at the park. Ben Bones. See me high step to the end zone. My life like a game Nintendo. Playing with the best. Let them know. Get off the track. The train's coming through. Yeah. Promise you get in my way. Then you best believe I'ma just run over you. Yeah. Yeah. I'ma turn taking it back to the house. Defense a joke. I'm laughing so loud. Speed burst good.